We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloop Cast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing really well, Jared. We got we got a we got a lot of people in our podcast studio. We got Austin, got Buckeye Esquire, we got we got Gangland, we got uh Buckeye Zach, got Odin, we got Michigan Bucknut. We got the gang here, Jared. It's it's good. It's good here. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. If you want to join these hooligans, these shenanigans, these uh, sloop cats, um, you can join them and watch us record this live. If you join our Patreon, patreon.thesloopcast.com, and this that will give you digital access to our podcasting room where we record this, where they watch us. And... Um, also, it's uh, we do this all on a uh, private Discord server, and I say private, um, it's not really all that private. You just need to go to discord.thesloopcast.com and sign up for it. You don't even need to join Patreon first, but um, I will say that the uh, podcast studio is is locked to the patrons, to the Patreons. Um, but yeah, you can still join the Discord server if you want and enjoy all of the free channels. Most of the channels are free. Uh, at uh, discord.thesloopcast.com and then uh, be sure to follow us on uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok um, not Facebook but Twitter other <laughs> places, I'm sure yes alright Jared, uh, so Monday we, we, we went over Ryan Day's um, uh, discussion with the, with the media today we're going to do we're going to do some depth chart prediction slash who's going to be uh who's going to be making a splash this year and uh and Kyle names to look out for position battles position battles one of one of Jared's favorite things especially if it's on the offensive line which I don't think there's really going to be any kind of position battles, maybe. Oh, I got, I'm getting, I'm not, getting a look. Not Jared. for the starters, not from the starters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there's, there's offensive line depth to talk about for sure. <laughs> All right, Jared. All right. Where should we, where, where should we start? Uh, Buckeye Zach says you're the tight end. You want to start at the tight end? Um, honestly, the way I have this uh, listed in our notes, or we might back. just, let's just go by number. <laughs> that's how it's sorted in the notes <laughs> start at tight ends you coward <laughs> all right so guys real quick what we're doing here um we felt like doing a depth chart project projection was um not not accurate to how college football is done anymore at least not at ohio state it's a very rotational culture uh, depending upon the position right depending upon the position it's very rotational um i am a rotational culture you're right austin um so what we wanted to do we wanted to instead of being like uh starter second string yada 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 what we wanted to do instead was essentially classify the players as either game changers we're talking superstars um, potential all American potential, all conference potential trophy winners, like elite of the elite. Then we have starters and I know don't, don't get too caught up on the traditional interpretation of what a starter is. It does not literally have to be the guy who plays the first play. We're talking about someone who could potentially have you know 40 to 50 to 60 percent of the snaps while his unit's on the field so i don't actually care who starts starts but someone who gets starter level reps is what we mean when we talk about uh starter um then we'll talk about rotation then or we can classify a player at rotational depth which is to say someone who gets on the field during competition, but, you know, maybe 15% of the snaps. It's They, they come in when the other guy's tired, uh, needs, needs a breather. Um, that That's when they come onto the field. It's not like an equal-ish share of the snaps. It's, uh, it's a rotational depth. 
the la the then the next one uh is just depth, which is to say you'll get in if someone's hurt, they'll get in if uh it's late in the game and they're you know taking the starters out that that's a depth player um okay so i just wanted to make sure that's how we're going to classify each player as we move through the list and also just just do keep in mind these are our expectations for the 2022 season this is not a judgment on like them as potential this has nothing to do with, oh, yeah, but what about, you know, not this year, sure, but what about next year? Well, we're not worried about next year. This is 2022. We're, we're talking about our expectations for the 2022 season. All right. So and everyone make sure to get really happens. angry when they're wrong. Yep. Hey, yes. I, that's that's fine. <laughs> yes. We will be. We'll mess something up. All right, Jared, let's let's get right into it. You said you wanted to go by numbers or yeah, let's go by numbers. To, are you, or are you not wanting to uh, piss off the, uh, our, our friends down in the chat here and go with the uh, tight ends first. Uh, if you want to try and keep track of all of the players on the list out of order, then you go right ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I can probably go. I'm pretty sure I can find tight ends here. Hey, you know what? You're in charge. All right, I'll 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 start up the tight ends here. Uh, start with Cade Stover, Cade Stover, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to call him starter. I, I think of all of the tight ends, I think he probably gets the most reps. All right. Uh, th there'll still be rotation here. I don't think he's going to be the only starter. Um, but starter is how I will classify him. All right. Uh. Tight end slash fullback Mitch Rossi. Uh rotational depth. Not he's not gonna get a ton of snaps, but you'll see him on the field. His mascot a category. <laughs> Next up, Brutus Buckeye, mascot. Done. Starter. Uh let's see. <laughs> Joe Royer. Joe Royer. Joe Royer, I, man, I, I, I don't know between him. I, so I think the real question you say, you say Joe, Joe Royer to me. Are we actually mm -hmm. in, in reality here asking who gets more snaps, Joe Royer or G Scott? Yeah. And the last one was G Scott. Yes. So that's, that and is I am leaning I'm leaning towards saying G Scott at rotational depth and Joe Royer is like the, the coast starter, I think okay. is about where I'm leaning on that. All right. All right. We got your tight ends out of the way there. So you're welcome. Snoop cats. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, we'll we'll start we'll start back at the top here, Jared. Uh, uh, Austin says, "Wait, what did you say <laughs> for Roger and Scott?" I think he means Royer. Royer. You know, Austin, we record these. You can go listen. No, um, I I said, <laughs> sorry, your attention span. I I know we're we're both neuro no neurodivergent, and I also can't talk. Um, so welcome, Caputo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I, I said Royer uh, rotational depth and Scott at rotational depth. Or I, I think I actually said Ro Ro Royer at like co-starter along. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It, it might be like 50, 25, 25. So it might be. Yeah, maybe like 50, 25, 25, which I guess would put both of them at rotational depth. Yep. All right. We we got we got a lot of players here, Jared. Yeah, so yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go through these uh, pretty quickly. So we'll start with number one. Wearing the number one jersey, Cameron Bob. So this is where like the starter thing comes into play. I'm I'm positive at some point during the year they're gonna give Cam give Cameron Bob like a ceremonial start. 
but I don't think he's going to get starter level reps. Um, I, I, I'm going to consider him a depth player. All right. And Mika Ibuka. Um, I'm going to say rotational depth. I, the, I, it's how much. I think the I question is how much rotation do we actually see this year at the wide receiver position? Cause I don't think he's in the top three. And how, how much, how much is Ohio State going to go for wide too? That that's a great question. That that's a, that's a fantastic question, Kyle. Um, and when oh. they do go four wide, will that fourth guy be G Scott? <laughs> sort of kind of playing a tight end. Yeah, it could be more with, yeah, without Ruckert. And Ruckert was that fourth receiver, and you could do so much. But is just, Ruckert does G there. Scott just take over that role? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's why we're asking. It's a podcast. <laughs> we're having fun I, here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I I probably would stick with Abuka as like, if you're going four wide, I think I would go with Abuka as your fourth receiver, not a tight end for this year. Okay. So, that's so that, yeah. All right. Uh, Court Williams. Um, starter. I think he'll get half of the reps at safety this year at one of the three, uh, probably the up safety, the linebacker hybrid safety. I'll say he gets at least half of the reps this year. Tereja, I cannot talk up Mitchell, Tereja Mitchell. I don't know, man. Uh, the linebackers That's... are a big bag of mystery to me. Mm -hmm. I, and I, he kind of feels a bit and, like and an old only, school and, linebacker. Um, and you're probably only going to get two. Remember, you're probably only going to get two uh, on the field um, a lot of the time. Right. Um, yeah, uh, Zach says Hickman and Steele. Not, you're not going to see Hickman early. Maybe yeah. eventually, but I don't think you're going to see Hickman early. Um, yeah, I'm going to say rotational depth. So this, this one's going to really confuse me because he's changing number here, but num we're number three, Mayan Williams. Uh, rotational depth. I think he's the number two running back, but I think that Henderson's absolutely the starter. Yeah. Uh, Julian Fleming. Starter. J.K. Johnson. Um, I'm going to say starter. I, I think that you'll see. I, I'm going to say I'm going to I'll say ro rotational depth. I don't think he's a starter. I think it's it's Denzel Burke on one side. And then on the other side, I think you'll see enough of a rotation that you see, that you could see J.K. Johnson getting, you know, forty percent of the reps. I think that's totally possible. I think it's, I think it's going to largely be him and Hancock um, as yeah. the number two corners in bit of a rotation. Now Cam Brown also comes into that conversation. So it does it sort of become like thirty, thirty, thirty. Um, in which case, you know, if we're down to thirty, or then are we talking like a rotational depth? Um, yeah. So it's it's borderline, but I do I would say we see him on the field plenty, but it you know does it cross into forty percent? We'll see. All right, moving on here. Uh, mentioned the name already, Denzel Burke, starter, All American. All right. Don't don't need to waste time with that one. Uh, Toronto. Oh, excuse me, Kyle. We forgot that we have the 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 top category. I forgot for a second. Well, I totally forgot my own rules to the thing where we can name someone a game changer. Denzel Burke, game changer. All right. Uh, totally forgot. Forgot the rules to my own game here. All right, Vincent. Oh, I'm just looking over. Should I have called anyone else a game changer? Not yet. I want to keep that a very elite. I want to keep that a very elite thing. Yeah, Vincent. Uh, Vincent will be a starter. I think uh, we, we heard... We heard Ryan Day say that they have four to five defensive tackles who they sort of consider all of them starters. He's one of those guys. All right. Uh, uh, Hancock. Rota Zach, rotational starter is not a 
is not is not a category. <laughs> Although that that is accurate as that might be. Like if someone gets fifty percent of the reps, we're count we're calling that a starter. All right, uh, Jordan Hancock, starter. I, I think right. yep. he'll he'll. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say he gets the majority or the plethority. Um, for anyone who remembers math class, the plethority of the cornerback reps at CB2. All right. Uh, do I need to say it? Uh, CJ Stroud. Game changer. Javante Jean Baptiste. Um, starter. Uh, I'd say he's a part of the four man defensive end rotation. Agreed. K um, already um, mentioned Cade Stover already. Uh, Zach starter. Harrison. Yep. Zach Harrison. Um, starter bordering on rotational. No, he'll get he'll get at least forty percent of the snaps. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 start, no, no. He's yeah, he'll be no, I, for, I think he days. has game changer potential. Potential. Okay. All right. Uh moving on here. CJ Hicks. He could be a starter later in the season. Um, I okay. don't I don't see it happening early. So at the end, if we if we look at the season as a whole, because I don't necessarily expect him to get a lot of reps early in the season, mm -hmm. it'll probably be rotational depth. But a lot of those reps will be backloaded, if that makes sense. Maybe a yeah. bit of a statistical anomaly, as like I said, a lot of those reps will probably be backloaded later in the season. Yep. Uh, JSN. Uh, JSN uh, game changer. Uh, Nathan Ransom. Health is an issue here. Uh, I see him as a part of the safety rotation. I, I'll call him a starter, um, although maybe verging on rotational depth. All right. Uh, Cameron Mar Martinez. I, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out what exactly they're doing with the safeties right now. Um, yes. Cam is a safety. Um, uh, he's but Austin on the Monday episode, we were talking about how they moved a bunch of the one of the reasons why they have so few corners on the roster right now. Scholarship corners on the roster right now is because they moved a bunch of them to safety. Cam Martinez is a I know you remember Austin, but I was I have to reset it up for the podcast listener. You understand? <laughs> Because maybe they didn't listen to the Monday episode, or maybe it was two days ago and they forgot. Wait, you're recording a podcast. Yes, I am. Um, but yeah, if if you're worried about the number of guys at corner right now, scholarship guys at corner right now, you have a guy like Cam Martinez who could potentially move back to corner if needed. Yep. All right. I'll call uh, him rotational depth for now, but just with an acknowledgement that the safeties still feel very vague at the moment. Ronnie Hickman. Uh, do we do we say yeah? Game changer, game changer. All right, uh, Tanner McAllister. Starter. All right, uh, Marvin Harrison. By, Jr. I, for the by the way, I think Cam Martinez is probably the backup to McAllister. I would say. So, how much of like do we see those two split? reps will probably be the answer to the cam martinez question marvin harrison jr is hickman a linebacker mostly no in fact they moved him back to they moved him back to free safety like he's the deep safety now at least that's what we have seen so far so he's yeah. not even the up safety right now um we'll see if that continues to be the case um, in my mind, he was one of a few, one of the few things that was actually working on the defense last year. So to change that, it makes me nervous. Yes, I do think he's a game changer. I think he's an all American in the making. I think he's a first round draft pick. I think Ronnie Hickman's amazing, which is kind of why I'm a little bit concerned that they're moving him to a new position. 
I just don't necessarily know if you mess with a good thing. We'll see what happens. Marvin Harrison Jr. Game changer. The hype Ooh. around him is unreal right now. Game changer. Right. Uh, uh, Chip train him. Oh, the linebackers. I'm going to say rotational. Rotational right. depth. Freshman. Probably, I think maybe your only freshman, maybe. Uh, Sony Styles. No, I definitely have Hickman highlighted on here at some point. Um, Sonny Styles, I think, is a depth player. Um, and the only reason I really even highlight him is because he's amazing. He's talented. This is me saying next year. Just remember, he should be a he should be a, a high school senior right now and to not expect the world from him, even though a lot of people are just like itching to put him in at linebacker right now. Just. Yep. Pump the brakes. All right. It's been a while since I've um, tried to pronounce uh, his name here, so I apologize. Uh, I got Pallier. Uh, Neote. 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 Uh, depth player. All right. Evan Pryor. Man, <laughs> Zach starter. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait till Austin chimes in on this one. Yeah, game there you changer. Yeah, yep, there, there it is. There, 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 there it is. is. <laughs> it's kind of like talking about Bob, right? Bab. I don't know why I always call him Bob. Bab. It's kind of like Bab. Like I, Ohio State does not give a lot of carries to the third running back. Yeah. They haven't in years. I don't know where the reps come from. He's amazing. He's talented. Um, I think he's an amazing player. I just. Austin says he has the solution. Make him the starter. That's not happening. Hen Henderson. Good God. Henderson is going to destroy people this year. Yeah. All right. Um, moving, moving us over here. Right, uh, Steel Chambers. A uh, starter, probably. I think he might get more reps at linebacker than anyone else this year. All right, another safety here, Jalen Johnson. Um, I would say probably a depth player. All right, uh, Cameron Brown mentioned him earlier, but Cameron Brown. Yeah, somewhere between starter and rotational depth. Um, it just really depends upon how they split up that CB2 spot. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Reed Carico. A guy who I'd like to see get some more reps this year. Um, probably a depth player. But again, the linebackers feel like such a mystery right now. Um, that I'd love to see someone mm -hmm. come out of the woodwork and steal some reps. Um, yep. I'd love to see him work his way into like rotational depth this year. Uh, It'll be CJ Hicks. Austin says it could be both. From Perth, Australia, Jesse Murko. Darter game changer. <laughs> Hopefully I not. Could, Hopefully could not. Be. Like I just, you don't want, this is, this is not the Jim Trestle era. We don't want game changing punters. Never, uh, never uh, on the could, field. Right. But if his position's never on the field, he was still there for 100 percent. Don't check me on that. Uh, Cody Simon. Starter. Um, I, I feel yes. like, yes, I feel like Simon and Chambers, I feel like are the two linebackers who I want out there. Snap one. Game one. All right. Uh, that doesn't hmm. feel like how math works. I didn't I, ask you. I, I don't think I've ever heard this person before, but um, Travion Henderson. <laughs> uh, game changer. Uh, Jack Sawyer. Uh, starter. He'll, he'll get 50% of the reps at DE, I imagine. All right. Uh, Tommy Eichenberg. Um, probably get starter level reps. I would say, 
um, probably split between uh, he he and um, Chambers. I think mm-hmm. which one of them gets more reps might depend upon the offense they're playing. All right, uh, same with the linebackers, uh, Gabe Powers. Uh, here's another guy who, like Hickman, I feel like we could see more later in the season. Again, I really feel like linebacker spot feels so wide open for me. Um, I want to see someone, you know, I talked about this last year. I don't want guys who wait their turn. I want guys who steal reps. I want to see Reed Carrico, Hickman, Powers start to steal some reps. So he's a, he's a depth player for now, but I'd love to see him become a rotational depth player later in the season. What is he right now, though? A depth player. But he could be, like I said, he could be a rotational depth player by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Josh Proctor. The injury makes this complicated, um, for sure. Um, I, right now, he's supposed to be moving to like the cover corner spot, but that's also where McAllister is, and that's also where Cam Martinez is. And he for used to be the is. deep safety, but that's where Hickman is now. Um, I don't necessarily think he has the body type to be playing the up safety and because that's where court Williams is right now. So I don't know. It's, it's all very hard to figure out exactly what the safeties are doing right now. There there's a tremendous amount of depth at safety. I just don't necessarily know how all of the puzzle pieces fit right now, but I, if Proctor is healthy and he supposedly is, I feel like he should be a starter. I just don't necessarily know where yet. All right, J.T. Barrett. I mean, uh, J.T. Tui Malau. <laughs> I, I, th- I, th- I thought J.T. Barrett had um, had a few more years eligibility left. Uh, <laughs> do do we say game change? Is it? It's too early to say game change. He's a starter now. I'd love to see yes. him work his way. I'd love to I'd love to see it turn out that he's game changer. Yeah, I, I no agree. chance I he's a game is. changer right now, but he can be. He might be, though. He honestly yeah. might be, though. Mike Hall Jr. Uh, I would say he's in the defensive tackle rotation for sure. Um. Who did we say this, those guys are at the defensive tackle rotation? We have Ty Leak Williams, Jerry on cage, uh, Ty Hamilton, Mike Hall and uh, Vincent. Can we have five starters? No. Well, he said four Austin. He said four to five. Ryan day said four to five. At defensive, well, the doctor lies. That's a fair point. That's true. So I, I'd say right now, Hall is um, is your rota- rotation, rotational depth. Yep. Uh, um, I feel like he can change that though. I, I like I like Mike Hall a lot. I like yeah. him a lot. Um, that might be a guy. A six, six two, two three three defense. <laughs> that's kind of what. By the way, that's kind of what a four. Oh no, that would be a five. Two. Anyway, move on. Um, uh, Luke Whipler, starter. All right, uh, Tyler Friday, starter, bordering on game changer, but starter. All right, Matthew Jones, starter. Uh, Ty Hamilton, starter. Uh, again, we just named him part of the defensive rotation. Yeah. Uh, I think he'll be one of the featured guys in that. Zen Mikalski. Um, I mean, depth player for sure. Um, but there's the interesting conversation about. No, don't first off Kabuto. That's not nice. We don't say that. Second, we're only talking about the season. Third, he might be 
one of the he might be in the two deep right now. Mm -hmm. He legitimately right. might be in the two deep right now. Um, they really, really like what he's doing. Um, he could be this, the, the third tackle on the team. It's probably either him or Josh Fryer. Uh, you didn't he could be here, starting but... next year at tackle. He could be starting next year at tackle. It's it's within the realms of possibility. And from everything I'm hearing, that will be a, a good thing. You didn't mark him here, but I'm going to say his name anyway. Enoch Vimahi. Oh, I didn't mark Enoch. Nope, you didn't. That's a mistake on my part. I should have. Yeah, that's your that's your third guard. Period. Yep. Uh, Tegra. Uh, Tegra. Tegra Chabola. <laughs> Tishbola, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a um, second there. <laughs> so this is another guy who I think is in the uh, he's a freshman right now. Mm. He's not he's not taking he's not taking anyone's spots yet. Yeah. Um but name to keep an eye out for. A name to keep an eye out for. And like I, you know, especially if we're talking about offensive tackles next year talking about a guy who could be the start at one of those starting tackles next year, but we're focused on 2022 right now. And he's a depth well, player for I, now, but he's someone to keep an eye on. Uh, another name uh, again, name to, to know uh, Ben Christman. Yeah. Um, if we're talking again about another guy who could very well be um, in the guard conversation, are you skipping Josh Fryer? I, I just mentioned Josh Fryer. Yeah. Yep, Josh Fryer's. I think Kyle just too. skipped him because I just already talked about him is all. Yes. Um, Donovan Jackson. But just but Ben Chrisman guard could be one of the guys you're looking at as a starting guard next year. Yep. Uh, Donovan Jackson next. Donovan Jackson's obviously at the very least a starter could be a game changer. Um, interesting. As far as depth is concerned, this was a conversation I was having with gangland last episode. Is he a ta and Austin for that matter? Is he a tackle? Is he a guard naturally? If something bad happens, to Paris Johnson, or if something bad happens, um, or just like, or like in 2023, is he a starter at tackle or guard in 2023? He'll be a starter next year, but at what position? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's an interesting thing to keep an eye on. And also just like if there's a, a long-term injury to either Paris Johnson or Dwan Jones, could we see Donovan? Because I feel like Ohio State right now likes their guard depth better than they like their tackle depth. Yep. All right. I'll just name these three in a row here. Um since you already pretty much named them, uh, Paris Justin Jr., Jacob James, and Dewan Jones. Uh, yeah, I've already talked. Yeah, Paris and Dewan, um, bordering game changer, but definitely starters, absolutely starters, no question there. Bordering into game changer, Paris is game changer. He could be. He yeah. very well could be. Um, Jacob James is, I would say, notable. Again, primarily because of like 2023, he's a depth player for now. He's a depth player for right now. But if you look at Ohio State and sort of always having the next center ready to go, Jacob James is apparently having a great offseason. And as far as like having the next center ready to go, it sounds like Ohio State's uh, right there having their their they're they're ready to go they're ready to yeah. go at center uh in case of injury and in case that luke whipler you know decides that this is his last year at ohio state they're ready to go all right we got a few more names here um uh, jaron cage one of the guys in the defensive tackle rotation um you know one of the guys who in my opinion like one of the guys that like Mike Hall Jr. might be looking to steal reps from to get in there. Um, it's. There's a lot. There's tremendous depth at defensive tackle right now. 
and there'll be guys fighting for reps all season. I might as well say him here to Tyleek Williams. My only hesitation here is I almost, man, what we saw from him last year, combined with him being a year older, yep, combined with him, exact Austin, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Combined with him losing some weight in effort to stay on the field more in an effort to get a little bit quicker. We're bordering on game changer here. Absolutely a starter. Like we're talking about Ohio State has four to five defensive tackles. Ohio State has four to five defensive tackles. They also have one defensive tackle. Yep. And that one defensive tackle is Mm -hmm. Tyleek Williams. And last one here. A fan favorite in our discord. Noah. No struggles. Ruggles. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I'm going to go with starter. All right. Listen, I don't want him to be a game changer. I don't I don't want to feel goal based games. Well, he, he was the game changer in the Rose Bowl. I know. Well, it, it, with all due respect. There were several game changers in that game. I'm not going to. I know he kicked the winning field goal, <laughs> but they gave him they gave him a chip shot. <laughs> Okay, but the you you know you're right though, Kyle. The wave may the wave may have escalated him to game changer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you know he didn't have to hit a 50 yarder. Like they got the offense got him down there. Like there were several game changers in that in that team on that team in that game. I can't prepositional phrase today. On that team in that game, there were many game changers. Uh, gifts I can hear r slash gifts i can hear that's just for the youtube folks sorry podcast listeners that's not just me saying random shit i promise all right kyle uh is that everybody um you know a, na- a name here i'm gonna throw out i know sure. we did not highlight him and i'm all only saying this because i remember seeing it come through um Coming through my feed here. I also want to say I high, I went through and highlighted this very quickly, so I may have just um, missed. I'm only, I'm only saying him because, um, well, he's a he's a shiny freshman, he's okay, a shiny freshman. But I'm only saying him because he got he got the on day two he got the silver bullet of the day. So okay. That is Jair Brown. Yeah, I, you know we're we're talking about like. Ohio State only has X number of scholarship corners right now. And I I just feel like the corners that they have, even if it's not a lot, I feel like rotational depth is even pushing it, Austin. Like, mm-hmm. I just, they don't have a lot of corners, but the corners they have are really, really good. Yep. Um. I really, really like Ohio State's corners right now. There's not a lot of they, they, it's quantity or excuse me, it's quality over quantity right now at corner. Yep, yep. It's easy to get rotation, though, if there's six players playing three at a time, people need a break. Yeah, but I even th- I feel like the third guy is oftentimes going to be the cover safety more than it's going to be the then it's going to be a third corner, if that makes sense. And like, you're only going to play like the spread offenses so many times in the big 10. Um, so there might be individual games in which he could be a rotational starter or excuse me, a rotational depth, but from a season long perspective, probably just a depth player. Zach, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that rant again. (laughs) <laughs> all right jared that is it that is all whoa what is oh this oh my goodness austin holy crap oh that's hold on let me let me just for the youtube folk let me scroll through this and y'all y'all can slow it down or pause it if you want this is apparently austin's uh take on it all and there we go and there we go this was no and he there said we this go was, this was you jared 
Oh, this was me? This was you. Oh. Very nice. No, Zach, we can't clip Austin's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. You weren't being nice. You were you were making sure that I'm held accountable. What, 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 what was that what was that phrase from um you just played yourself? <laughs> was, was that it? Keeping the receipts. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Yeah. Congratulations. I, uh, apparently, I played <laughs> now myself. Now you may clip that. <laughs> All right. All right. That's it, Jared. <laughs> that's it. You got you got anything else before we end the episode? <laughs> I just want to encourage everyone to uh, follow us on YouTube. Um, not only do we post full video versions of the podcast on YouTube, we are also now posting shorts on YouTube. These are minutes, less than a minute long highlights from the episodes. So if you ever miss an episode or you just, uh, if you want to, sh if, you, if you ever talking to like, oh, hey, you should check out the sleep cast guys. They're uh, idiots, but it's still entertaining. Like, you're probably not going to get them to, you know, maybe sit down and watch an entire episode, but you can sort of flip through our shorts channel, uh, which you can access directly by going to shorts.thesleepcast.com. Uh, and then our full YouTube page is at youtube.thesleepcast.com. And if uh, follow us on YouTube, it's subscribe, you boomer. It's the same fucking thing. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing, Austin. It doesn't matter. I don't I don't need to change up how I say it just because. Are your oh, shorts one. exactly Ooh. one minute just like day? Ooh, someone's been listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for paying attention, Kabuto. Um, I probably probably uh we'll we'll probably try and get it close to a minute each time. Uh and if you if you're not on YouTube shorts, um you can look us up. Uh, on we we're also posting those videos on TikTok, on YouTube, I already said YouTube, on Instagram, and also on Twitter. So where whatever it is is your platform of choice. We'll, 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 we'll we will be posting the shorts on that probably, unless it's Facebook. Fuck Facebook. Um, that's it. I think that's all the talking. I feel like doing. Um, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner, or did you use it all up on Monday? Uh, uh oh, I know we had a boom for for Ohio State hoops uh, in our last recording here. So I'll, I'll talk about what the Ohio State basketball did recently. And over the weekend, they went over to the Bahamas for exhibition exhibition games, and they went out and beat the Egyptian and Puerto Rican national teams. Interesting. Yeah, I. I I knew they were heading over the Bahamas. I didn't to be to be honest, I didn't know who who they were who they were playing, but um but yeah, good good to see them succeeding um down in uh, the Bahamas. Excellent. How are we feeling about basketball in general this year, Kyle? You want you want to give like a 30 second uh preview of the Ohio State basketball season? <laughs> uh a lot of there's a lot of there's some heavy, big, heavy shoes that need to be filled this year. That's fair. All right. Uh, tonight's ending music. We're doing uh, the Raging Nathans again. We did that on Monday. We're doing them again uh, here on Wednesday. Austin. I know you asked for music. I know. But I Raging Nathans just put out an album. And I like the Raging Nathans as well. We play Playing to Vapors all the time. And I love them. I do. But we have to spread the love around. And the Raging Nathans just put out a new album. You're taking away your Patreon money. Well, that, that feels like an overreaction, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but tonight we're playing the Raging Nathans. So, uh, again, this will be from their new album. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is the Raging Nathans.